Hello! Last video, I pointed out three RPGs we saw announced in the wake of the OGL scandal. Those being DC20, Tales of the Valiant, and now the MCDM RPG. Judging from the comments on that video, and MCDM hitting over 3 million on their crowdfunding campaign, there is a real appetite for RPGs that are not D&D. So here are three more of those D&D killers that you can go check out. And the first can be none other than Shadow Dark. The Shadow Dark RPG claims to be old school gaming modernized. The system was developed by Kelsey Dion of the Arcane Library. Dion reached critical acclaim for their DM skilled adventure Corruption of Skyhorn Lighthouse before going on to enjoy a very successful Kickstarter for Shadow Dark. And if you've been in the TTRPG space at all this past year, you've heard tell of Shadow Dark and how excellent it is. There's really not much I can say about Shadow Dark that hasn't been said already. It is simply excellent and nails the old school premise and achieves its lightweight and fast goal. Shadow Dark has only 4 classes, low hit points, no skills, and treasure grants you XP. My favorite feature is the real time tracking of torches, and there is no dark vision in this game, so light is important. When you light up a torch, you will begin a torch timer, and that torch will last an hour in real time. This lends a sense of urgency and time to the game, and I find it's really fun. And while I do think most TTRPG players would benefit from playing Shadow Dark, it's not really for everyone. It knows what it is and what fantasy it's trying to capture. It's an old school dungeon crawler, and if those adventures are ones you don't really like, you might not have fun with this one. But it's always worth giving it a shot if you get the chance, as you might learn you actually do like dungeon crawls and just haven't played a game that executed them well. I'll also say there might not be much here worth getting if you're already entrenched in playing OSR style games. Nonetheless, it's a great game and a great fun. Shadow Dark is available now from Arcane Library's website. The second entry on this list hopes to see even greater success in their crowdfunding campaign that MCDM is currently enjoying. Brandon Sanderson, prolific author of the Mistborn series and helmsman of the Wheel of Time, is taking his popular Stormlight archive to the tabletop RPG space. Developer Brotherwise Games is taking lead on this project. Brotherwise has previously developed a Stormlight archive board game and has recruited a bunch of tabletop industry vets to develop the Stormlight RPG. We don't know too much about how it will play, but we do know it will be a d20 based, roll high system with extra plot dice to add to rolls. We can suspect that there will be some familiar elements from the Fantasy Flight games as the lead designer, Andrew Fisher, worked on the FFG Star Wars RPG and that system similarly featured a plot dice system. Journalist Christian Hoffer offered a first look at the character sheet for the system. From it, we can see that there appears to be six stats divided into three categories with skills and some sort of defense stat linked to each. With abilities that look to cost an action point, Seems like it'll be pretty familiar to the tabletop RPG audience, so here's hoping it brings more Stormlight fans into the community. The game will be taken to Kickstarter sometime in 2024. This after Sanderson enjoyed a $41.75 million Kickstarter in the spring of 22 for a new set of books. Sanderson and Brotherwise Games are hoping to be able to convert some of that success to this new project. And last but not least, the wildly popular folks of Critical Role and their publishing company Darrington Press threw their hat in the ring with two new systems. The first, Candela Obscura, released earlier this year to not so positive reviews, but the second, Daggerheart, is still in development. Daggerheart is speculated to be Critical Role's replacement for 5e going forward, as it appears to be a medieval heroic fantasy that 5e largely already inhabits. Chase Carter, in a Polygon article published in August, says that Daggerheart's chief selling point at present is the promise of a reduced barriers to entry for new players that won't sacrifice the interesting complexity that keeps veteran adventurers rolling, but does note a current lack of GM support. I have seen the complaint in other places, but I think it's fair to wait a little longer for the game to be more developed before looking for that GM support. However, the falling flat of Candela Obscura does not really give me confidence. Daggerheart takes some familiar elements of your typical D&D game, such as classes, subclasses, races, and the six key stats, and looks to add their own twists. Firstly, and most noticeably, is Daggerheart is a 2d12 system, meaning checks will have a natural bell curve that replaces the swinginess of a single d20. And the combat system has no initiative, so heroes can take their turns in any order. When a player does take their turn, this gives the opponent a token that they can turn in to power their own abilities. Seemingly trying to give it a sort of back and forth, uh, risk reward type of thing between the heroes and their opponents. Additionally, armor class is exchanged for reducing damage, so this is another game that eliminates the attack roll. Seems to be very in vogue these days. And the goal is meant to replace your typical heroic fantasy game. It has also been compared a lot, favorably or unfavorably, to power by the apocalypse. Bob Worldbuilder recently discussed a playtest of Daggerheart that he participated in in an appearance on Roll for Combat, linked below. 
And if you're interested in learning more about this system, I would encourage you to go check out more of Bob, as Bob has both covered the game and recently playtested it, and has a lot more to say about it than I do. And that has been three more D&D killers that we are going to see more of in the coming year. I would encourage you to go check them out, and maybe one of them will become your new favorite game. 